Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I do want to apologize. I am a little behind with the readings as we have been extremely busy, uh, not only with spell work, but uh, with personalized spell, uh, personalized readings, sorry. Um, so anyways, uh, let's get on with your reading Taurus. This is going to be for February 2019. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Now, the first card you have here is the Magician card. And the Magician card, it is all about creating or co-creating, having all the tools uh, to be able to manifest or bring towards you uh, the desired outcome or the desired goal or the attainment. Uh, next to that, you have the Knight of Swords here. And the Knight of Swords is uh, definitely speaking about, for a lot of you guys, there's going to be a lot of communication coming back and forth. I want to say... Um, uh, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aries. For others of you, you may be dealing with an air sign, which would be a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. And you are definitely coming out here in your own spread. A Taurus, you have the high, uh, high Priest next to the Seven of Swords. So I feel that for the past couple of months, you guys have been dealing with a lot of, um, a lot of difficulties, a lot of, um, you know, finding out. Uh, secrets or things that are being hidden from you and with the magician here and the king of swords I feel that this could also be your representation of energy or the energy that you're taking on for the month uh, for the month of February and you're going to be very much in your head you're going to be a little bit more uh, standoffish perhaps um, not as emotional you're very focused you may start to experience if you're not experiencing that already um, that if you've been going through a lot of emotional baggage, a lot of emotional difficulties, and it's almost like it's become this major energy that is just nonstop, constantly affecting your every single day life, whether it's in finances, whether it's with family dynamic, whether it's with friends, whether it's being social and that of not wanting to be social because you feel like you just don't have the energy. Nonetheless, with the King of Swords next to the Magician, I see you guys being a much more like shifting that energy and putting your intention or putting your attention towards the things that you want to achieve, whether it's uh, success, whether it's finding stability, whether it's um, being able to step away from a relationship that perhaps has uh, impacted you greatly the past couple of months. And again, it's almost like taking a step back and being able to see things from a clear perspective. Uh, the King of Swords is all about that. It's about discerning, uh, seeing through the BS, being able to detach yourself emotionally to be able to have a clear perspective on things. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're going to be altering um, your appearance. For some of you guys, you may be thinking about, um, you know, remodeling or oh, not remodeling. What's that word I'm looking for? Um, just changing something about you. It could be as simplistic as getting a new haircut to completely changing, um, your closet attire and, uh, you know, trying to refresh yourself or trying to feel like you, you need to make changes. Uh, but I think that before you dab into making the emotional changes that are necessary, uh, you're going to go more on the superficial initially as it is a transition and it is um, being able to kind of like an, like an onion, you're peeling one at a time. So again, uh, or a layer at a time. So again, like I said, I do see a lot of transformations happening for Taurus, especially in uh, for the whole year of 2019. But uh, for the month of February, I do see you guys uh, being able to clearly state what it is that you're wanting if you are in an unhappy situation you're to the boiling point of you've had it and now you're looking at ways to either remove yourself from that or uh, it could be that you're becoming more spiritual, more intuitive, uh, trying to again understand certain circumstances or certain situations that you're currently going through. Um, but I do see a major transformation happening here. Now with the high priest, again, it's all about the wisdom and the knowledge. Uh, I do see you guys seeking or looking into uh, different types of religions, spirituality, practices. And you do have the Seven of Swords here. So again, the Seven of Swords, 
uh, definitely does signify a lot of sneaky behavior, betrayal. And I feel that this is more of a residue type of energy, something you guys have been currently going through. Uh, it's not something that is unexpected. Uh, I feel that the unexpected already happened. Um, and this is residue energy of feeling like you have to guard yourself with the king of swords. You have to protect yourself um, for your not only mentally, but spiritually as well, making sure that you take care of yourself, Taurus. I definitely do see a lot of progress as you do have two major arcanas. Um, but again, uh, the magician and the high priest is all about uh, having the power and understanding the power that you have. Uh, I've said this many times, even making or even not making a choice is still making a choice. If you are in an unhappy situation, remove yourself from that. If you're dealing with toxic people, pull away from that. Even if they're family members, even if they're loved ones, um, everyone is always making up excuses for not taking ownership of their behaviors. And I hear this all the time. Uh, you can't cut them off. You know, they're your brother, they're your sister. Um, you know, it's your partner you kind of learn to deal with them no you don't if they are being toxic cut them out pull yourself away from them at the end of the day um nothing could ever compare to having peace of mind so i hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned for the love ratings coming soon bye